What's up basketball fans? Welcome back to Time Out. What's up everybody back with me Rocky Padilla and today I'm here with the newest Mr. 50 point in the ASL, Rayshon Griffin. What's up Rayshon? What's up bro? You gotta catch him before he leaves for the States. Yeah man. So I heard you just came back from Bali. How was Bali? Oh, Bali was amazing man. Bali, it was it was a turnt up vacation but it also was a laid back vacation man. Going to Ubu but experiencing the nightlife in Bali too. It was, it was amazing man. I loved it. So, so let's talk about your 50 point game. That was a crazy performance against Adrian Muda for Tamina. How did you do it? Man, to be honest, I was angrier earlier that day. And me being so angry, yeah, I guess it got me in tune and focused. But to be honest, it wasn't about the 50 points for me. It was more so the energy that I got from the fans and, and the crowd and the whole arena. And it was a packed game, you know? So you feed off that energy. But like I said, the 50 points, it wasn't about that for me because that just comes with hard work. And, when you work that hard, sometimes shots will fall, sometimes they won't. And God blessed me to have those shots fall that night. And yeah, man, it was it was crazy. Did, did anybody tell you during the game that you're gonna get you got you got you close to 50 points? Nah, they didn't, and I wasn't even counting. You know, sometimes I think people do count in their head, like I got this, like at halftime, I got yeah, this, yeah, I got yeah. that. But I really wasn't even so. I was really just focused on wanting to win so bad. I wanted to win so bad, and I felt like. Anything I can do to help my team win, whether it was to score or play defense, I was gonna do it, you know. And like I said, God came through with a with a, a such a blessing, man. It was it was crazy. How did you get out of the stadium after that game? I bet you were mobbed though. Yeah, I, I was mobbed, but and you know they were trying to get me to the bus. But uh, I gotta give a shout out to Kelly Pawanto on this. I heard from a, a a friend, you know, that Kelly is like a real humble guy and. He makes sure he, he gets all his fans, and I took after that. You know what I mean? I'll do that anyway because that's for the love of the game. But you know, I make sure I get all the fans, every fan I can I can possibly get. Man, take pictures. I mean, my eyes was hurting from the flash, but <laughs> it was all cool, man. I loved it all. So let's talk about prediction now. Okay, okay. So because we're at the end of the season. End of the season. Yeah. Who do you got? Who do you think should win the local MVP? To be honest, man. Uh, Two teammates are competing for it, in my opinion, Ragil and Zavedis, but I might I have to give it to Zavedis, man. Zavedis is a is a is a good player and I like the way he plays the game. I like Ragil too. I've always said Ragil is the most skilled Indonesian to me. Oh, wow. Yeah, he is, you know. Step back, uh, jab, jab series. He's he's the most skilled to me. But Zavedis, I like the way Zavedis plays. I would give it to him. Ragil is the most good. I, I wish he had like two more or three more inches on him. Oh man. He'd be, he'd be the be, best be shooting tough. guard yeah, in Indonesia. Tough. I like Nuke though, I like Nuka too though, yeah. man. Nuka is really improving yeah. this season. Nuka's good, bro. So, what about the import MVP? Import, uh, to be real with y'all, man, it's like a tie between Rafford and Seagulls, to be honest. But I wouldn't count out Lohan. You know, his team has done well. You know, they took two losses, one to Plutajai, and you know, <laughs> NSI. But, uh, you know, NSI made some history. But yeah. uh, Lo Lohan's been consistent throughout the whole year. But you can't be, I've heard that Pacific work wasn't always that good. Yeah. And so for Seagulls to come back and then be averaging damn near a triple-double, you got to give it to that guy, man. So hats off to him. Hats off to all the, the, the candidates, but you got to give it to him. I know, I got Seagulls too. Yeah. The big question, who going to win the IBL championship? Ooh. You were at the game last night, Hang Tua upset Garuda. Yeah. Will we see another upset to win a championship? I don't think it's going to be no more upsets if you got if you got Stopak upset in Pacific, then you can call that an upset. Okay. But I, I think Stopak in, in Pacific will battle it out. But I think Stopak will win that series. Um, so you got four teams left. You got four teams left. Satomura's going to the championship. I'm sorry, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, George and, and Palmore. Uh, hopefully y'all can upset them. I mean, I, I hope for it to be a good series. But hopefully I, it will yeah. be a good series. But I think Satomura will win yeah. that series. And uh, we got PJ. Ben, PJ and Stopak, and man. Stop how many, how many games did they split? No, they actually 2-1. Two, two PJ, PJ won two twice and, and Stopak went once. But the, I watched the game Stopak in against PJ in Jokja, and it was a great game. Uh, Don Williams has been playing great uh, for the for the last couple series, and they've been in Stopak's on the road and they're winning. Oh, six game in a row. Man, so if they get if they get on a high and win that series, I really I got Stopak edging Felita Jaya and Stopak and Satya in the finals. 
And man. How are we gonna have the same pick? Because I picked Stop to win the championship. I got SM, bro. You got SM? I got SM, bro. Oh, I got SM. Okay, so. I mean, it's gonna, for me, it's gonna come down to the locals. Yeah, that's it's true. It's gonna come down to the locals. And South Park has great locals. SM does too. But I, I feel like SM is more, hung, more hungrier for the simple fact that they was in the finals last year. And nobody wants to repeat losing, so that's, true. that's why I feel like the the, the, the energy from the locals and the, the hunger from the locals will be there for them to win it all. Hopefully, it's some good finals. I definitely will be watching from home on the live stream. And uh, you know, I got a couple guys that you know I spoke with during the season that I made some connections with, so I'll be rooting them on. And hey, man, hopefully y'all give Indonesia a, a memorable experience in this playoffs. Hang two I already did, so yeah. hopefully y'all keep it going, man. And, and good luck and shout out to everybody. And let's let's make it a good one. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate my guy Rock shout <laughs> shout me out, man. <laughs> Reaching real, out man. to me right before the season. And, <laughs> and then you got something for me? Yeah, bro, you know I do. Uh oh, my guy asked me. My the, first hey, jersey hey, this man. season. Look, oh my still God. in the package too, bro. Oh my still God. in the package too. Appreciate I told, it. I'm gonna I open it up. Go ahead, Rock. I told Rock at the beginning of the year I was gonna have a jersey for him. I made my promise. So this is, I really appreciate it, man. Of course, man. Got to. I'm gonna use this a lot, man. Please do. Play ball, yeah. man. Please Hopefully. do. Man, thanks, man. Appreciate yes, sir. it. Yes, sir, Rock. Yes, hey, sir. man, we gotta keep in contact, though. Of course. You of know, course. this is your third time on my channel, third man. Time, bro. <laughs> third time, third time. Third time. Crazy. So appreciate it, man. Yes, sir. I will see you around. Definitely. Hopefully I'll be back, around, man. For sure. So guys, that's all the interview today. Hopefully you guys like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.